am everybody this is your host light here coming back from the sunny beaches of portugal and you're watching the 10th episode of airdrop intel and i gotta say june looks very packed i mean this could be the biggest air month of the year or maybe even of all time it's too early to say because we don't have exact dates for some of these drops that are going to be taking place but in terms of the whole rumor list of drops that might be going down on june includes zk sync and layer zero which has been heavily rumored to basically happen and i have said basically to you guys for multiple months now that they are part of the big six so after ZK Sync and Layer Zero have happened, we basically only have Linea left as Agen Layer has already issued their first airdrop, but it's not tradable as of right now. So we are kind of getting into the very big players at this point of the cycle. We also do have some other heavy hitters on this list, like Blast is likely going to be a pretty big success, given to the fact that how big of a TVL they have. We got some other ones here which have been hyped up, like Orderly Network. And things that are going to be more on the mid range are probably going to be like Avail, ZK Sync, ZK Link, sorry, Chrome, IONET, and well, maybe Swell. Okay, the rest of these are going to be a bit more lower end, you know, tier three, tier four style drops, but a lot of these are probably going to be quite promising. I think Arc is not going to be pretty big or D-Bank or Rabi. I think they're going to be, be more lower end, but who knows? And Aether Cloud is probably very, very over farmed. But not all of these are going to be happening necessarily on June. It's very speculated. I believe Avail has been confirmed and Blast is going to be happening on 27th. And well, maybe maybe some of them are also going to be happening. But yes, it's very rumor mill style of month that we have in store. But if all of these are going to be dropping, it's going to be a lot of money. And basically, I'm probably going to be eligible for basically all of these except ARC. But let's move on. In case you are new to the channel, check out the Notion page. It has basically a big collection of speculative and confirmed airdrops across different categories that you can basically start farming out it's, it can be found on the description down below now the first drop on the list is wigvam this is an evm based wallet which you can get as a mobile extension sorry browser extension it, i think it works on mobile as well and they have released well a tapping game and these are basically getting released left and right. Some of them are just like click once per six hours and some of these are these spam click things. The Wigwam's game is actually a bit more higher potential given to the fact that they have a real product behind it. It's not just some coin that has a Telegram application basically. So they have real utility here for their token. And this is going to be basically part of their thing. You can hit the drums. It's exactly the same model as Notcoin. There's referrals and other types of systems in place. So definitely, I recommend doing this one. And it's totally free to do. So that's a great one. Uh, another free one, which is called Valhalla Foundation. Even though Elon talked about like banning impression farming, there seems to be still a lot of people running out these Twitter social media based campaigns. And Valhalla is basically the latest one. I don't know what exactly is this project about. It looks like a game fee project, but I probably, it's not one of those. And there are different types of multipliers and bonuses that you can do here. A bit more other things to do basically, aside from like doing Twitter tasks. But yeah, another one that you I definitely recommend doing. Um, then we have Uprock. And Uprock basically had two forms of airdrop. So yesterday, basically, they allowed release the claimings. Most of it is still vested. So you're not able to dump everything at the go. In case you participated on the Jupiter voting launchpad, you can go claim your Uprock from that. That is not vested, by the way. You're going to be getting an instant out from that. So I got maybe a $30 from Uprock from, from that launchpad. And here I got like, well, another $30, which I already claimed. So I'm now just waiting for the vested. And in case you didn't see the very video originally, this is basically just like grass protocols. You basically install it on your browser or somewhere on your burner phone. And it basically uses out internet bandwidth to basically pay you these Uprock tokens. And right now I think the price is like 8 cents per APT. So you can get like 
one uh, half a UPT per hour or something plus referral bonuses and stuff like that. And that's a pretty good rating contrasted into a lot of these other entities. So you can start farming Uproc as of right now and you can have it simultaneously run with other protocols like Koi or Grass Protocol or what was the D node or whatever. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, here it is. Um, node pay yeah so you can run those all together but as i said before run them on isolated machines because that's the most secure way to do it uh, zk link also had the points uh, distributed they still have time that you can participate on their what is it called the paradigm or something and you can see your allocation for nova points so i basically got 188 zkl i did participate based on the private sales well so I'm, i guess i'm going to be getting a lot of things and i've got another 100 zkl from some loyalty points thing then there is these nfts which are going to be getting you points as well the links nfts and then there's going to be the price pool 4 which is crypto getty cryptopedia and then we have pool 5 task to get which i believe is kind of like a layer three galaxy style platform so that's something and yeah you can still join the aggregation parade you're still going to be getting yields and points from those but i'm probably going to be withdrawing from there soonish probably when the distribution of the tokens start and then we have a trust wallet doing a partnership program with on chain they're giving out fifty thousand dollars distributed throughout this campaign and basically you just need to log in with your trust wallet and then basically verify this through telegram and then do two twitter follows and basically you're going to be participating on the whitelist mint and yeah that's that's basically it and there's going to be bot which you can basically do for to get more points inside and i believe there might be a further steps and this is going to be ending on two days so be quick be quick guys um, then there is Galax having out some stuff here. So I probably should include some Galax missions on all of these videos because there's always something going on here. But something that I saw just a couple of days ago is that they are going to be having a staking campaign here. So by staking Galax, you are going to be getting tokens soon. So this is going to be including Polyhedra, Merlin Chain, and Arbitrum, and also Jambo. So this means that Jambo is likely going to be launching their tokens soon so i've been obviously farming quests on my jambo phone and obviously i recommend people to still buy it because there has been a fair amount of drops meme coins especially and i today i think yesterday got matrix fire tokens like three dollars worth or something but then again the phone was like hundred dollars plus shipping so i'm already like 25 percent or more have recouped the investment from that phone so that has been pretty legit and then obviously there's going to be the big, big jambo airdrop itself so that's going to be interesting as well and then you know there's going to be this babylon quest galax which i recommend doing a um, couple of pretty easy tasks here just follow them on twitter and discord and there's a signet transaction has that you can do there's probably guides for how to do it basically and then there is another quest which is going to be starting out soon and babylon is likely going to be having all of their airdrop coming through staking and these testnet galax quests are probably going to be a big part of their criteria moving on we have a meme going on blast called blast bus and basically you can sign up through the link down below and see whatever you're going to be eligible for claiming and then you can refer your friends into the platform as well and you're going to be getting part of the bus rewards as well. There was a couple of these style of drops happening on on already on Blast. So that's pretty pretty good. So there's a Ponzinomic type of model here. But hey, and they have already raised 769 Ethereum. So this could be another successful meme coin. But let's see how it basically will be going. And then the last thing I want to talk about on this thing is all two. They were actually giving out a form of... Bonus points for early users. So in case you have used all two in the beginning or something in the very early birds You can now basically get bonus points. So you should definitely check out Whatever you have now bonus points on actual thing and remember always to do the check-in thing if you want to farm out some transactions on some of these chains here on the list and Obviously, it's gonna be pretty low gas fees. So that's just like two things 
at the same time. You get points for all two and simultaneously you get transactions on some of these chains. And that's basically what I have to share. We're probably going to be doing a bit more deeper rundown to the June in the upcoming videos. Might even drop a new one tomorrow. But until then, I will be seeing you guys next time. There's a lot of interesting sales going on and a lot of token releases this month. So this is going to be fundamentally a month where a lot of money is going to be made. But thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Cheers.